Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to give your videos that old film look in just one click. If you're new to Filmora, you can try it for free with all the tools that you need. All you have to do is check the link above or in the description below. I'm going to give you five seconds to download Filmora right now. So let's get started. Now that you have Filmora, let's open it and get started. Import your video footage into the program pressing Import Media Files here. When you get all your footage into the program, you can start editing your final video. Let's do this really quickly. Alright guys, here we go. First, we are going to change the color of our footage to black and white, and there are two ways of doing this. You can go to Filters, and then to the subgroup called Black and White, which gives you two options. Or you can select a clip and then click here on the Timeline Tools, Advanced Color Tuning. In this new window, we are going to go to the 3D LUT tab and you will find the black and white film LUT. Or you can go to the top left corner on the Preset tab and you will have more black and white looks. Now we need some old film textures. Select Overlays and on the left in the subgroup, select Old Film. Here, there's a variety of options to make the footage look old. Choose the one that you like the most, or that matches best with your footage. We're going to use the extremely dirty film. To add your old film overlay to all your footage, just extend the ends until it covers the whole edit. Same thing with filters. If you use the advanced color tuning, you'll have to add the black and white preset to each one of your clips individually. For the intertitles, press the text credit tab and then choose in the subgroup titles. You can select any of the titles that you can easily change the font. This one comes with a fade in the beginning, but you can take that one out. Just double click, enter advanced settings, and then in the top corner of the new window, press animation. Select the first option that says no animation and then click OK. We're going to use special fonts for this, so let's go to www.defonts.com. In here, you can go to the Fancy category, then Retro, and there you will find very cool options like Summertime or Betty Noir. But the most popular silent film fonts are Bellrose, Nathan, Speedball, and Nickelodeon. I like Nathan and Nickelodeon the best, but I think I'm going to use Nathan as it looks more legible. For the main title of the movie, I'm going to use Summertime. To install your font, just download the file, double click on it, and on the left top corner you can find the install button. After the installation, the font should show automatically in the drop down menu of the text settings. If it doesn't show up, just restart Filmora. Okay, we have the color, texture, and titles for your movie. Now I'm going to give you a few more tips to make your movie look even more like a silent film. But first, I'll give you a workflow trick when working in Filmora. To apply some of the Filmora effects, you have to add the effect to each one of your clips individually. As a shortcut, after you finish your edit and applying the overlays and color, you can export your video and re-import the video into Filmora, then apply anything you want to the whole clip. Take into consideration that when you export a video multiple times, it loses some quality. But as you are doing an old film look, it should be okay. Alright, first tip. Change the aspect ratio. Before, the aspect ratio of movies was 4 by 3. Nowadays, the ratio for videos is 16 by 9. This means that before, videos look more like a square. So to make your footage a square, just select your clip and then go to Crop. In this new window, click on the 4 by 3 option. Now just center your frame and voila! Second tip, change the speed. If you haven't noticed, movements in old films look accelerated. This is because people used to shoot their movies in 18 frames per second. Nowadays, the standard is 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, closer to what the human eye can recognize as normal movement. If you want to know more about aspect ratio and frame rate, check more of our videos in the description or in our channel.
So we just need to speed up our clip a little bit. Okay, that's good. Finally, we're just missing some music. I'm gonna choose this one. We can find some music in Filmora, or you can go online for other free options. The music we are using is from Incompetech.com. Now let's export it. If you want your video to be true 4x3 without the black bars on the side and with that low resolution feel, you can set the resolution to 640x480. If you want your video to be 16x9, showing the black bars on the side, set the resolution to 1920x1080. And there you have it.